Lamborghini Huracan Sterato, unleashing performance beyond the pavement. Usually, when you hear about a jacked-up Lambo, the conversation centers around a late-model Gallardo stuck on a telephone pole or a wet curb. However, the Huracan LP610-4 Sterato, simply known as the Sterato, is an exception. Raised by 1.7 inches, it stands out as an off-road-ready Italian supercar and arguably the finest example of a baby Lambo. The Sterato retains the stunning looks and performance of the Huracan lineage, but distinguishes itself with features tailored for rougher terrain. Equipped with run-flat Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain at 002 tires, a suspension lift, and roof rails for extra cargo, it offers more versatility than the 4 cubic feet of the front trunk. Front. The higher center of gravity, revised electronically controlled dampers, and softer springs and anti-roll bars provide a level of comfort previously unknown to the Huracan. Driving a Lamborghini in Michigan usually involves bracing for potholes and debris, but the Sterato changes that experience. Sterato means dirt road in Italian, and this Huracan excels on rough paths with its smooth ride and durable tires. It's the Marshawn Lynch of supercars, capable of powering through tough conditions but lightning fast in the open. While it might not have a Super Bowl ring, its $2,600 rally lights shine brightly. Unlike the conceptually similar Porsche 911 Dakar, the Sterato doesn't have a height, adjustable suspension, but softer legs highlight the chassis stiffness. Slow speed suspension action often comes with a clunky report, like there's play in a ball joint attached to the anti-roll bar. Low grip tires that give up at 0.96 G on the skid pad might seem inappropriate for a Lamborghini, but steering feel and communication are excellent. The best part. Lower grip means you can explore to the limit on a public road without scaring anyone in or outside the car. Reduced grip, and probably a few other tuning changes, also has a profound effect on the chassis balance. At the limit, the Sterato lets go in slow motion with neither end breaking away first, but the tail will step out in response to throttle provocation. Easy flips of the steering will keep the Sterato out of trouble and on the road. Not once did we get crossed up. Should a rally school want to teach the Scandi Flick maneuver on gravel, the Sterato would be better to use than a Subaru WRX. Well, if it were in the budget, our Sterato was $384,394 as tested. The rearview mirror is as useless as a rest area without a bathroom, as it reflects only the roof snorkel, which raises the intake track to keep the V, tin from ingesting dust and debris. We're not fans of video-based rear views, but in a car this fast, you need a good way to check your six. Should you want to make the things behind you small, the 602 horsepower V, tin moves the Sterato to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds, just 0.3 second off the Huracan Evo. So what if the quarter mile is three tenths off two? It's a 10.7 second, at 130 miles per hour, car. Those all-terrain tires do limit the top end, though. For those keeping score, the Sterato's 161 miles per hour governed top speed is high enough to walk away from the 911 Dakar's 150 miles per hour best on its all-terrain rubber. In rally mode, you have to shift yourself, and more than once, we found ourselves banging off the red line at 8,500 RPM in a 100 decibel trance. Lamborghini, if you are not going to program automatic upshifts in your racing modes, please consider using the kick-down switch as a signal to the transmission that the driver wants a perfect redline shift. In addition to rally mode, Strata and Sport are available, though the engine is loudest in rally, and it's best to let the V-10 sing. Inside, the Sterato is pretty much like other Huracans. Headroom is tight, and you won't find a cup holder. But if you spill coffee, the $1,400 floor mats are dishwasher safe, more or less. They're aluminum, covered with grip tape that is otherwise found on the deck of a Powell Peralta skateboard. The Sterato starts at $278,972. If you were really interested in paying that amount, you should have already done so, as all $1,499 are sold and likely trading for multiples of the original sticker. Getting a base car up to our as-tested price is pretty easy. Our Sterato came with $62,100 in paint options alone. Do you like the orange? It's a Rancho Zanto, and it costs $14,000. The $23,600 Sterato livery, 
is a series of triangle-shaped accents that are actually painted, unlike the gold and red stickers of the Dakar's not-quite-Rothman's livery. The fender flares and rockers have the $17,100 Sterato Protective, rugged paint designed to limit damage from airborne stones. Want a number on the hood? That'll be $7,400 for the hexagonal 63. Khrashimil, indeed. Alas, this is probably the last naturally aspirated V, tin we'll ever see in a production car. Even if a tin returns, it'll have turbos, electrification, or both to lift it out of the efficiency gutter. We averaged 11 miles per gallon. We're mourning the loss, but also smiling. Pleased that such a memorable engine went out in such an unforgettable and ridiculously good car. Lamborghini Huracan Sterato. Design and performance. Design. The Lamborghini Huracan Sterato is a unique iteration of the iconic Huracan, designed to combine supercar performance with off-road capabilities. Key design elements include Lifted stance. The Sterato is raised by 1.7 inches, giving it a more rugged appearance and enhancing its ability to tackle rough terrain. All-terrain tires. Fitted with run-flat Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain at 002 tires, it ensures better grip and durability on various surfaces. Roof rails. These allow for the attachment of a rack, providing additional cargo capacity beyond the 4 cubic feet available in the front trunk. Frunk. Robust exterior features. The car includes reinforced underbody protection, wider wheel arches, and LED rally lights, all contributing to its off-road readiness. Performance. While the Sterato maintains the high-performance standards expected from a Lamborghini, it incorporates modifications to handle off-road driving better. Powertrain. It is powered by the same 5.2-liter V10 engine found in other Huracan models, delivering impressive horsepower and torque. Suspension and handling. The Sterato features a suspension lift, softer springs, and anti-roll bars, along with revised electronically controlled dampers to provide a smoother ride on uneven surfaces. Enhanced stability. The higher center of gravity is managed by advanced electronic systems to ensure stability and control, even on challenging terrains. The Lamborghini Huracan Sterato is a bold step in expanding the capabilities of supercars, offering a blend of luxury, performance, and off-road prowess that sets it apart in the automotive world. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.